All right, so today is the day that we get some of our uh, wood delivered for the cabin. With all the stuff going on, shortages, we had to wait a three weeks just for regular lumber in, in the bulk that we got it in. And that's not even a lot. That's, that's crazy. The cabin is roughly 500 feet from the end of the driveway. This meant it was time to start hauling the wood in pieces through the woods to get to the new cabin location. To avoid running into issues with the government, we decided to build a raised cabin on blocks. Building a raised cabin should help with keeping the lumber out of the elements since treated lumber was nowhere to be found. So it's been, I think it's like two or three o'clock in the afternoon. Got quite a bit done so far. Uh, we got the framing, the bottom frame done. We are just, nothing's really structural yet. We're just tying in uh, the shape right now. And then we're gonna go back and uh, start putting in the, the poles and the walls. Everything's pretty level, and um, I think it's gonna go together really well. Gotta hurry up and try to get the sun to calm for a little bit of rain. So we're gonna just tie in a couple other supporting members just to hold everything into place while we go and build our, our walls. We were able to get the floor in just in time before it started raining, so it was time to sit back, hop in the tent, and relax. Um, today is number two um, on the cabin and I'm um, going to share a little bit of the update. Uh, what's going on? Got the base in, got al almost all of the floor in and uh, we had to, it started raining so I moved on to start framing some of the front walls because we're actually, we're able to do the front half. So the front walls are 24 on center. Side walls are going to be 48 on center with tack strips, uh, just like a kind of like a pole barn because we're also going to be running one hell of a top plate on all around the whole thing. So there we have it. We're this is number two or day two of the cabin. Um, the door is going to go right here. I'm not even going to frame that in just yet. We are getting there. We're also hopefully can get to the roof here soon. Um, today, I'm hoping to have all the walls up today, uh, minus this front corner here uh, where the door is going in. Um, that way we can start removing all the braces on the top and start really hammering down on these top plates to get this thing nice and secure and locked into place. Um, this is, this is going to be a one story, so the ceiling is seven, seven and a half feet to the top. And then we're gonna have a 12 12 pitch. So it's gonna go another seven and or whatever that is, a seven and a half, yes. So it's gonna go another seven and a half up uh, with 45 degree angle pitch um, and a one foot overhang. Just as I got the walls in place, my brother-in-law showed up to help with the rafters. To give the cabin more room, we decided on a 12 12 pitch. This gave the option for a small loft up top. We quickly got into a rhythm and was able to get the rafters into place in just over two hours. Due to issues with the batteries for the camera, we didn't cover the start of the roof, but it's okay, because the most important thing was to get it done at this point. We were expecting more rain and we needed to get the wood covered as soon as possible. So to move faster, Jess came up and helped with the shingles. Note to my future self, get a nail gun. The next step was to put in more support in the walls that provided more strength and a place to nail the sheathing to. been a long weekend um, 
got quite a lot done. So I know it's hard to tell, but we sheeted the side of the cabin. The roof is done. We have the door in. I still have to do a little bit of framing in the window. And we did the Y supports up top. Roof's almost done. As soon as we get to the top, we'll, we'll be capping the roof. There'll be a big picture window right there. Um, we don't have it yet, so I didn't even attempt to even frame it in. This is what the Y's look like from inside. I wish we could put some glass up there and just have it there, but that's not what we're gonna do. And the window. So it's coming along. Oh, so anyways, that is that. That's a cabin update. I'm gonna sign off here. It's got a long drive home. Gotta pick up some of this mess and I will update you guys later. Instead of wrapping the cabin with plastic for the season, we decided to seal the wood until spring so we can continue working on it. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. We will be releasing part two of this video along with individual cabin projects starting in spring 2021. Thanks for watching.